that is the reason I stopped you on. on yeah, and uh, I apologize. I want to make sure I you know, hadn't had too much dropped, to drink. I know. Okay. I'm sorry. I know exactly why you pulled me over. Veronica, how much have you had to drink tonight? Um, uh, not, I just, I'm extremely cold right now. Okay. I weigh 100 pounds, and so I'm freezing and I okay. am shaking. Okay. So just like. Don't you, stop for, don't oh, start yet. Yeah. I'm very bad at this. I'm it's sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I know. I'm not trying to disappoint you. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's just cold. Okay. I'm so just the, a cold little person. So, so you've got a couple of indicators on board right now. I'm not taking you anywhere. No, I know. We're going to stand just, right could here. Could I just say no to that? And could I just have someone come here? I'm afraid of you. And I'm sorry that I am, but okay. like there's scary things that you guys do to people. Nothing I'm bad sorry. is going to happen to you, okay? I don't believe you. Okay. Sir, I'm not trying to make problems. I, I, I just I'm don't not... want anything. Like, Veronica, I need you to listen I'm to me for a second. I'm afraid of you guys, because, but it's because I'm afraid of you that we're having an issue. Oh, no, we're, we're having issues right now because I pulled you over for oh, well, on suspicion yeah, yeah, of DUI, right? right, right, right? right, right, right. I don't understand who I am. Do you, um, do you feel a little more comfortable? No, no, I, I called my mom. They're okay. coming. And I understand you're not being you mean keep, to me, but I am afraid. You, you like, keep I interrupting can't. me, and I can't finish Sorry, my sentence. Yes. Okay, I apologize. Um, by Washington state law, if you've been arrested for DUI within the past 10 years, there's no bail set. So there's a good chance that you're going to be staying uh, in, the, in the jail for a little while, okay? okay? People directly in front of me swerving quite a bit. So my name is Officer Kuhn with the Bainbridge Island Police Department. I have to let you know this little device right here is recording both audio yes, and video. That is the reason I stopped you on. on yeah, and uh, I apologize. I want to make sure I you hadn't had too I much dropped. to drink. I know. Okay. I'm sorry. I know exactly why you pulled me over, and okay. I apologize, sir. Veronica, how much have you had to drink tonight? Um, a little bit? Uh, not. I just, I work at a restaurant, so I've yeah. had a few, just a wine tasting this okay. evening, but nothing, like just a few sips. Nothing, okay. Like, no, nothing that would. Okay. Yeah, no. Cool. Right. I know, I apologize. I'll give you that back. Do you, yes, is the vehicle registered to you? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I feel like it would be registered to me, but it might be a cosign. I don't know if that does any, because I know that when I bought my car, my parents co-signed with me. Like, okay. it was five years ago, my car is paid off, but I don't know if that, I've been pulled, been pulled over in like okay. five or plus. All right. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not sure if that so, so real quick, because I pulled you over because you're swerving, I want to make sure you're okay to drive. Oh, yes, sir. Can you shut it off and we'll do some real quick field sobriety tests? Okay. And is it okay that I put this in my... my yep, go ahead. I'm going to turn my lights out so we can... They're not shining in our eyes. Am I okay to step out of my... Sure. Car? Sorry, I don't... No worries. I don't... Yeah, sorry. 
I just want to make sure I do this right. Yep, you're good. Yes, sir. And then I'll have you stand right up the front of your car here. Yes, sir. Let's have you stand right where my light is right there, just a little bit off to the side. Okay. Yes, sir. You ever done these before? Um, I feel like maybe, but not okay. really. Okay. I'm sorry. No worries. Just stand with your feet together like that, arms yes, down to your side. Are you wearing contacts? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Do, do you normally wear glasses? Eyes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Put, no. Okay. Go ahead and keep your arms oh, sorry, out your side sorry, there. Sorry, sorry. First thing I'm going to do is shine a light in your eye, all right? Is it going to hurt? I have migraines. No. That's okay. It, okay. it won't hurt. So I have, I have, my eyes dilate easily because of migraines. Okay. So I just. So what I'm going to have you do, do you see the tip of my pen right yes, here? Sir. I want you to follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, this is new. <laughs> It's going to go up. Follow it up the best you can, okay? You mean without moving my head? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. All right. Next test I'm going to have you do is called a walk and turn. What I'm going to have you do is stand in a certain position while I explain the test to you. Don't start the test till I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Yes, okay. Imagine a line coming out from your feet right there. Take your left... Like this line? Like if you were to walk in a straight line? Or? Yep, imagine a okay. imaginary line, just like a like a white line right there, but one okay. coming out from your feet. Go ahead and put your left foot on that line for me. Okay. Like that. Now take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot. Just like that, yep. Now I want you to put your arms down to your side. Down to your side, just like this. Oh, yep. Okay. I do yoga, so... <laughs> okay. I'm going to have you hold this position while I explain the test. Don't start till I tell you to oh, begin, sorry, sorry. okay? When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel-toe steps down that imaginary line. Turn like I'm going to show you. Nope. Oh, down my, your imaginary line. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. Sorry. Turn like I'm going to show you here in a second, okay. and then take nine more heel-to-toe steps down the line. It'll look just like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth till you get to nine. Once you get to nine, keeping your front foot in place, I want you to turn, taking a series of small steps just like that. Like a pivot? Yep, just like I just showed you. Okay. okay. And then take nine more heel to toe steps down that line. One, two, three, so on and so forth till you get to nine. I took three, you're gonna take nine. Absolutely. So when I'm at, I apologize. So I'm taking nine consecutive steps. It doesn't matter how I pivot or. Just like, like I showed you. Just, so I can just. Let me, let me show sorry, you. Sorry, could you show me again? Yep, I'll show you again. I apologize. So, so start out. And then you're doing the front. Okay. So, yes, you, so, you, so you're starting out, you put your left foot on the line like I showed you, put your right foot in front of your left foot so the heel of your right foot is touching the toe of your left foot. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three. I took three, you're going to take nine. When you get to number nine, keep your front foot in place, just like that, and turn. And just pivot on the outside. Yep. Okay. Taking a series of small steps. I just wanted to understand. Okay. No worries. And then take nine more heel to toe steps um, down that line. I just do want to One, preface really quickly two, that... Uh, three. I'm extremely cold right now. Okay. I weigh 100 pounds, and so I'm freezing and I'm okay. shaking. Okay. So just like just just because I generally can't stand here and have a conversation with people without chattering my teeth and then being like, "Are you okay? You're shaking." <laughs> so just please oh take God, that into consideration. Copy. Okay. But so yes. So go so ahead. Nine steps, sir. So go ahead and one. Oh Hold on, don't start yet. Oh, I, I need you to. I need you to put your left foot on that line, just like you talked about. So left foot. Yep. And then and put I can your right start foot. With my right foot, right? Put your right foot in front of your left foot. Now and put your arms down. Stop for. Don't oh, start yet. I apologize. Yet. Yes, sir. Okay. I keep. Fuck, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not good at this. I apologize. Put your right sir. foot in front of your left foot. Yes. Right foot in front of your left foot. Yes, sir. Heel your right foot, touch and tell your left yes, foot. Yes, sir. Okay. Now put your arms down to your side. Now once you begin the test, don't stop. Keep your. Don't start yet. <laughs> I'm very bad at this. I'm it's sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I know. I'm not trying to disappoint you. I apologize. Listen for just a second. Okay. Once you start, don't stop. Watch your feet. Count your steps out loud, keep your arms at your side, and remember to touch heel to toe. Do you understand all that? Yes, sir. Okay, you can begin. So, side, heel to toe, nine steps, pivot back, nine steps. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I feel like it's a pivot like this. Okay. And then it's a one, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Okay. And it's a pivot like this. Okay. <laughs> Next test I'd like you to do is called a one leg stand, okay? Same thing, I'm gonna show yes, it to sir. you and I'm gonna demonstrate and then I'll have you start the test, okay? okay when I tell you to, I want you to lift one foot off the ground, doesn't matter which one, either one, okay. so that the sole of your foot is about six inches off the ground, okay? Keeping your arms at your side, okay, sir. down at your side just like this, you're gonna lift your foot up okay. like this, pointing it forward and start counting out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, if you have to put your foot down, lift it back up and continue counting where you left off. So 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, and continue counting until I tell you to stop. Do okay. you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Hold and on I just can... a second. Yes, sir. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. You may begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Arms at your side. Oh, sorry, sir. 1,006, 1,007. I'm sorry, it is very, very, very cold. Can Okay, sorry. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1010, 1011, 1012, Okay, you can stop. I'm sorry, it's just cold. Okay, I'm so the, a cold little person. So, so you've got a couple of indicators on board right now. What I'd like you to do is blow into a, uh, a, a preliminary breath test that's not admissible in court and give us an idea of how much you got on your system, okay? Is there any way that I could just follow you to the station and just call my parents or anything like that? Because I know I haven't drinking above the legal limit okay. and I have no problem having someone pick me up or anything like that. Okay. I just personally... Um, like this is no offense to you, but yep. just things that I've gone through in the past. I used to live in Seattle, yep. and like I've dealt with some scary situations. Uh huh. And like I'm just afraid to go with you. you, you, you like I'm just afraid to do. Like to be honest. Okay. I'm afraid. So so. Like let's, if we could just go somewhere where like someone else could be there, stuff. that's all I really care about. Still out, no problem. I so, have no problem no doing problem. whatever no, or going wherever or whatever, but I just. So I, I've got to go through a, yes, a set process here. The next step in this process is, is to do the uh, preliminary breath test. Like I said, it's not admissible in court, but it'll show you how much you've got in your system, okay? So right. I'll go get that. Just, I'm, not taking, just, I'm not taking you anywhere. No, I know, We're going to stand just, right could here. Could I just say no to that, and could I just have someone come here, or could I? The only reason why I say that is because I am afraid. Like, I'm afraid of you. And I'm sorry that I am, but okay. like there's scary things that you guys do to people. So, and like I don't want anything bad done to me. And like so, my family is just around the corner. And, so like, so remember, my, cam please. my camera's on, okay? I just don't want anything bad. Nothing I'm bad sorry. is going to happen to you, okay? I don't believe you. Okay. So uh, here's what we got to do. Please let me call my family. Well, like that's all I care about. Like so if they're here, that's fine. That's, I just am afraid. How about I get another officer here? No, I don't want Veronica. to make problems. I'm not so here's to, what I want to do. Sir, I'm not trying to make problems. I, I, I just I'm don't not, want anything. Like, Veronica, I need you to listen I'm to me for a second. I'm afraid of you guys because of all the stuff that, like, I... Veronica. So here's, here's where we're at, right? I don't mean to be afraid of you. That's that's not the issue we're talking about right now. I know, okay? but it's because I'm afraid of you that we're having the issue. Uh, no, we're we're having issues right now because I pulled you over for oh, well, on suspicion yeah, yeah. of DUI, right? right, right, right? right, right, right. Uh, and we went through the first parts of the test here, and you're sh you're showing indicators, okay? Uh, what I'd like to do is have you blow in the PBT, show me that you're okay to drive, and then if you're good, get you on your way, okay? Let's get it knocked out. If you know you've you haven't drank. Uh, I really more than the legal. Been okay. Drinking, but I Sit don't... tight for just a second. I'll go grab it, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Victor six six four clear. Victor six six four three zero eight. Sam Squamish and Nora units. Welfare check. We one way in Squamish. Call 912. The caller was concerned about a bicycle on the side of the road. Scene 2 will go on to the Quamish near Wee 1. 
Do you, um, do you feel a little more comfortable? No, no, I, I called my mom. They're okay. coming. I just, do you, I, do you feel a little more comfortable sitting in your car? I don't feel, I don't feel comfortable. That's okay. That's the problem. And like, I don't mean to be a problem, but... Veronica, I'm, I'm worried about your... It's, I'm not crying because of this. I'm crying because, like, I've been threatened okay by I cops thre before. Have I threatened you? No, but okay. I just would like, please, I would like my parents present. I want not a cop. I okay. don't want a cop. Okay. Here, blow on this real quick, and we'll no. sit right here. No, I want my parents present. I want someone present. Like, I can't do this without my parents present or somebody. Like, I can't. And, I, and I'm sorry, but, like, we don't live in a world that works... Okay. Like I know I have rights. Absolutely. And I'm 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 trying no, and I understand you're not being you mean keep, to me, but I am afraid. You, you like, keep I interrupting can't. me and I can't finish sorry, my sentence. Yes. Okay, I apologize. So I won't, again I have to go through certain steps I when know, I I've when heard I pull about some your some machines. Out. I've heard about them. I've okay. heard like really not good things. Okay. And I don't trust that. Mom, it's, I just got pulled over on Bainbridge, and this guy wants to give me a breath alcohol or a BAC test, and I did the line, and I didn't do anything wrong, and like I'm being told that I'm inebriated or whatever. I'm not willing to give him a test without one of you present. I'm not willing to do anything without someone else present, and I'm not doing it with a cop present. Like I'm not doing it with just two cops because that's not even like no. Veronica, everything's on camera, everything's filmed. I, d I had to try wine before I left work. I was just tasting wine. And I dropped something in my car. And I went to pick it up. And I'm... I'm by day road. So, Veronica, remember when I said this thing's recording both audio and video? Okay, everything's recorded. I'm sorry that I don't... No, I'm not going to apologize for the things that cops have done to people. Okay, that's that's a different issue for a different time. Right, and what I'm we're trying sorry, to do... but you don't understand who I am. You don't understand how my mind works. You don't understand what I've seen. Like, I know we're on Bainbridge. I know that, but I don't... Have what you could like I have no idea there's crazy things like people literally get shot for reaching for their license Veronica this is not admissible in court I don't know what you mean by that that means they can't use this in court okay I don't I had two sips of wine and I don't know what that's gonna mean and I didn't do anything and you're gonna try to say that I did and I'm not gonna take that okay all right, I'll put it away. I'll be right back. How far are your folks away? About 20 minutes, sir. 20 minutes? Okay. So here's the deal. Yes, sir. At I this will. time, I'm placing you under arrest for driving under the influence. Sir, do please, you understand can that? Just, can we wait for my parents? I'll do your breath out pleasure. I just don't want to be alone. Please. Okay. Please understand that I don't want to be alone. So at this point please, in time. Sir, please, I will do what you want. I swear to God, I just don't want to be alone. Please. I have, like, Problems from being abused, and like right now, I'm trying to deal with them. Okay. And that is why I'm afraid of this situation. It's not just because of you, it's because of like. So I'm sorry that Sir, you, please, you have some. Please, so please, listen to me for just a second, okay? So based on your driving, okay? 
and based on the field sobriety tests that we did, it appears to me that you've had too much to drink to be driving tonight, okay? So I do have to place you under arrest for DUI, okay? So we do have to go back to the station. I'll give you the opportunity to provide two breath samples that are admissible in court, okay? And we can wait here for your parents, but they're not gonna be able to go with us when we go to the station and, and do the breath stuff, okay? didn't do anything to me. Do you want to answer that? We can wait for him. Yeah. Sincom <laughs> Polite 17 dead on the name. Polite 17. Last of Victor, Edward, Robert, Ocean, Nora, Ida, Charles, Adam. Middle E for Elizabeth, 1990. Data Poly 17, Vesita. Go ahead. Showing 2022 clear. Also showing registered CPL. Proceed, thank you. And showing one reduced DUI. Proceed, thank you. Poly 17, 316. Veronica, do you have your concealed weapon with you tonight? Do I have a gun with me? Yes. Do you have a concealed pistol license? Okay. Right. That's what I was just checking. I was just checking. Okay. No worries. Yep. If I take your thing and I pass it, I'm not allowed to go. So that that little thing is no longer in play. That that's just a field a portable uh, preliminary breath test. That's no longer in play. What's that? So I, I, I offered that and you said you didn't want to do that, so I put that away. Well, only because and I just wanted someone else to be here. I didn't want to do it by myself. That's all. Okay. I'm more than happy to do your, your thinking. I just don't want to do it just here by myself. All you have to do is blow into that thing. So, so at this stage, like I said, you're, you're under arrest for DUI. We have to go back to the station. I'm going to read you your rights. I'm going to read your rights here in just a second. Um, but uh, uh, once we get back to the station, I'll read you your constitutional rights. I'll read you implied consent. I'll give you the opportunity to provide two breath samples that can be used in court. That's your opportunity to show me that you don't have too much on, on, you know, on board. Uh, but, the, but the preliminary breath test, we don't, we don't need to do that anymore. So we go back to the station, give you the breath test. If you want to show me that you're that you're under the legal limit, that's the time to do it. Um, and then if you're if you're uh, you'll be processed there, and then I'll take you down to the Kitsap County Jail, where you'll be uh, booked into the Kitsap County Jail tonight. Yep. So you, you'll be able to... This is around, like, I, I'm not them, though. Okay. Like, I'm not a drug addict, and I'm not someone that steals, and I don't, like, I don't want to be around them. Okay. Well, this is a set process, okay? Um, if, you've, if you've never been arrested for DUI before, you can, you can make bail. You can get out of jail pretty quick. I have, Have you? Okay. So, it's been a long time. I mean, okay. Like, you would know better than I would. Okay. Like, the thing that I 
I'm pretty sure you already know because you talked to your person. They said you'd had uh, one reduced previously. I don't know how long it's been. If it's been within uh, five, plus five plus years, okay, then then not. There. Please don't let me spend the night. It's, don't make me spend the night there. Please don't make me spend the night there. I don't make. Don't make me spend the night there. Please don't. I'll do anything. I literally will do anything. I don't want to spend the night there. Please. So Veronica, I don't make those decisions. The jail does. Please don't. I don't make that decision. The jail makes that decision. Okay. I'm not going to be making you do anything. All right. Where are your folks coming from? Okay. So you're gonna to want to take a wallet with any kind of ID with you. And you yep. Any any credit cards you want to take with you, and then you're gonna to want to take your cell phone, okay? Just so that when you get out of jail, you've got a cell phone that you can call somebody, okay? I don't know. I, I won't. You can if you want to, but I won't contact them. So again, this is a this is a set process, like almost like a checklist that I go through. Okay, and and uh, the sooner we get started on the process, the better. Um, if you want to wait here for your folks, I'm willing to wait here for for a little while longer for your folks. Uh, but eventually, we got to get going with this process, okay? And again, they unfortunately they can't. If come. I if I if I like because I only have a little bit of like and I blow under, do I get to go home? Um, like, if I don't, if the test isn't bad, like can I go home? Uh, nope, because I, I again I, I arrested you up for DUI, right? You're driving, and then your tests show that you're under the influence of alcohol. I well, the tests that you did right out here. But, okay, but like, just to be honest with you, I had a seizure, so I don't have the same kind of stability that you have, and my doctor can give you that. Like, I okay. literally had a concussion outside the Bainbridge Island Ferry Terminal, and for years, I don't have the same type of stability. And also, I'm incredibly cold, so I don't have the same ability to stay stable. So yeah. if I was in a warm environment, it would be different. So I would like to redo your test in a warm environment then. Okay. Because the only way for that to be accurate is for me not to be having environmental, like, ex exacerbation, essentially. Like, I'm literally, by the elements, being, like, I can't even, even if, it doesn't matter, I can't do what you're asking me to do out in the cold. I physically don't have that ability. Okay. I don't think that I'm drunk. I don't think that I should be arrested for any of this. I'm willing to give you all of your tests and to complete them to the level that you're saying, but I don't think that I should be being arrested or going to jail. Like, I have no problem doing your tests or showing you that I'm fine. I just don't want to do it in the context that you're asking me without it actually being accurate. Like, I can't do this test that you're asking unless I was actually in a heated room. Okay. So Veronica, let's head back to the station and then you can do the test in the station if you like, but I'm also going to give you the opportunity to provide breast samples there, okay? Right. I'd like to redo your thing in the warmth and I'd like to see if I pass it and then if I don't, like I'd be fine to give you my thing, but like I literally what makes me the most frustrated is I've been doing certain things for months trying to get my stability back because I'm in a thing specifically for that. Like, my parents can attest to that. That's not a lie. I have the actual MRI scans from when I was taken with in an emergency vehicle from okay. Bainbridge. So that's the other part that's hard for me is, like, if you're saying that I honestly failed that, which I don't believe that I did, like, you're telling me I failed that because I'm cold and I'm freezing. Okay. And I can't actually, like, stay still because I'm freezing. So so all of that stuff can be brought up in, in, in court, right? Um, and, and taken into consideration. So what we need to do now is we need to head back to the station. All right, and again, give you the opportunity to provide two breath samples, show me that you're above a point, or below a point oh eight, and go from there. And so if I'm below a point oh eight, I get to go home. 
Uh, not necessarily. How, how, can you just explain to me how I can go home tonight? Because I don't want to sleep with criminals. Okay. You, you're, like, I'm a, like, I don't want to be around them. I understand that. But we have to go through a set process here. All right? And, and it includes you going and getting booked I in at the jail. Okay? And, and I'm not going to make you stay there. That's going to be up to the jail. All right? Do you have uh, do you have the registration for your car? Yeah. That's the insurance. Oh. Need the need the registration. Oh, that is. That's probably it. Yep. Okay, and I'll give you the insurance paper back. Oops. That. And then that. Do you want to? Do you want to let your parents know that you'll be at the police station then? Uh, I would like them to. I would like to see them first. So, because I mean, they're already on their way. Okay. I'll call them and ask where she is. Okay. Five minutes? Okay. We'll wait for him. She's kind of having a panic attack and wanted her folks to come, so. It's a foggy night. I get it's it. It's not just that. Like, we live in a scary world. Yes, we do. And, like, there's so many. I've already had a lot of bad things happen to me, and I don't want more. And I'm sorry that I'm putting you through this, and I don't mean to, and I don't mean no worries. If I could be normal. Uh, Veronica, what's the cell number for you? 360-265-65. Okay. You leasing the ride or taking it? Uh, taking. I'll go get started on that. Okay. Fortunately, we uh, are. It's a bit of a trip. Looks like it. Good morning. Good morning. Good. I'm Officer Coon with the Bingham Town Police Department. I have, to, I have to let everybody know that this thing is recording both audio and video. Okay. Let's step over here, the other side, so we're out of the road. So, my first problem was that obviously you both know how cold I get, and he gave me a test, and I was able to do the thing and then to hold it. And obviously, I'm cold, so like I'm kind of whatever, and I feel like he feels that I failed that because. failed it and so I'm apparently getting arrested and going to Port Orchard right now. So so essentially I, I pulled her over on suspicion of DUI. Uh, she was swerving quite a bit and then uh, when we did the I test she showed some indicators of, of having some alcohol on her system. Uh, she smelled a little bit of alcohol. She said she'd had some wine earlier um, and so basically I have to place her under arrest for uh, driving under the influence. The process from here is we go back to the station uh, give her the opportunity to provide two breast samples which are admissible in court and then we take her down to Port Orchard there and book her into the Kitsap County Jail. So that's kind of the process. Um, 
Okay, do we have any other options here? Because she had to be in jail one night already in Seattle. It was incredibly traumatic. Yeah. For she the has domestic violence that I didn't do. He was like. So she has PTSD and everything. Yeah. Is, there's, is there any other option? Like, Unfortunately, please. we don't we don't have any other options. Um, and and the I can I can tell you that the Kitsap County Jail is quite a bit different than the than the Seattle Jail. Um, <laughs> but uh, but but we don't have any we don't have any other jails or any other uh, procedures. Can you just for write her up and then we just take her home? No, we're, we have to. We're required to book all DUIs into the Kitsap County Jail. Okay, so if she DUI, yeah, I didn't actually. I swerved because I dropped something. That's what this well, is happening. Okay, so you want to take her and do the breathalyzer. If you, she passes the breathalyzer, can we take her home? Unfortunately, she's she's under arrest for driving under the influence, and, and because I refused the breathalyzer because I didn't want to do uh, it without anybody here. That wasn't actually a breathalyzer. That was just a preliminary breath test. It's not admissible in court. She didn't want to take that, so that's okay. But uh, so okay. So the breathalyzer. No. It wouldn't have mattered. No. They were gonna take me anyways, even though it's I dropped something, and that is exactly why that happened. Well, can we come down? Uh, you, 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 you wouldn't be able to, to be in the office with us. You're welcome to come down to the office uh, to the station, to but but you wouldn't be able to sit in there with us. So uh, an attorney can be there with her, but but parents are not part of her North rights to, to have somebody there. You're welcome to uh, to have an attorney present if you like. Well, we're not going to be able to reach anybody this time of night. Okay. Obviously. I can I can put her on the phone with a with an attorney, a public defender as well, if she'd like. I would rather contact my old attorney. Okay. Also, uh, you have my keys. Yeah. I'm sorry. So unfortunately the, the car has to be impounded. That's Washington oh. it's Washington state law. So uh, it'll be it's a twelve hour hold. Um, I don't know if it'll be Gateway or, or Kitsap Tow, but we'll make sure she's got the paperwork for where it's at. Oh, you need the keys, right? Yep. You're taking my car? It's by law. It's it's Washington well, State law requires but, it. But that's not what happened last time. I understand that. Uh, the I don't know exact date of what happened last time, but Washington State law requires that we impound a, a DUI vehicle for so 12 where? hours. Okay. Will that be on the island then? Or? It'll probably either be Gateway Tow or Kitsap Tow, which is uh, Polsbo. And it'll be a 12-hour hold, so she won't be able to get it out until well, tomorrow. Man, so how long is my car going to be at? 12 hours. 12 hours. Yep. So get whatever you need, I'll put it in my car. And the camera will be on the entire time. Okay. Uh, once we get to the jail, there's cameras all over. There's female, female corrections deputies so there. Where are you going back to the island? We're, we're going back to the station right here for the for the BAC test, for okay. the breath, the actual breath test that's admissible in court. So, and then once we're done there, that usually takes an hour to an hour and a half, and then we head down to Port Archer. Are they going to strip search you? I don't think so. I don't know for sure. Can you call and find out? I, you would have to call them and find out. I think it depends on whether she's staying there for very long. Alright, well, if he gets the keys, yeah. this is everything we're calling. Yeah, so like I said, you're welcome to come down to the station, but you'll probably so, have to wait out in the parking lot yeah, out there. So, are you, is it that they're towing my car to charge me? Like, what is going to happen no, with that? Pound. Yep. But I'm going to get so, charged for that, I take it. Well, it'll it'll, it'll cost some money, yeah. We'll get it out tomorrow. Yeah, great. Um, okay, is there anything you need? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... We'll follow up. We'll go to the Yeah, we're going to come so. and... No, just go home, home and get sleep. No, it's okay. Go. They're going to take me no matter what, so... Even if she passes the breathalyzer? Yeah, based on based on the driving and the, and the field sobriety test. It was one thing 
kidding though. That's the craziest part about it is I literally swerved once because I dropped one thing, and I know that for a fact because I literally, as soon as your lights came on, I was like, oh, because so I dropped. So Veronica, something. it's all on video. You'll be able to watch it all on video, and it was more than just once. Right. All right. Um, go to the station for the bed. Oh, okay. God. You can go home. I just did not want to, like... Can I just have a second with my parents? Yep. Like, I'm going to go off over here. And Paul 622 My camera's on. Here's the keys. I think Copy she's... That. Yes, I will. Can you just get in the back seat? I gotta, yep, I gotta put you in handcuffs. Point, is there any point that I could maybe smoke the rest of my half a cigarette at some point? I said no. Nope. Okay. <sighs> Double lock those so they don't tighten down on you too much. Okay, they're double locked. They shouldn't tighten up on you. I'm going to have you have a seat right in there. Veronica, the next thing I'm going to do is read you your rights, okay? As I get my light on here. This is your Miranda warning. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand all that? Okay. So, I'd like to put a seatbelt on you. If you can go ahead and lean back, I'm going to come across you with the seatbelt and I'm going to plug it in right over here. Thank you. Yep. Do you have any questions? Okay, so just to let you know, I've got this thing, this camera is going to stay on the entire time, okay? And you see that black thing by the windshield right there? That's a camera as well that'll be pointed back at both of us, okay? She gave everything that she wanted to go with mom to mom already. She walked over there with them. So. Gotcha. Sincom Poly 
Flight 17. Flight 17. Transporting one female back to the station, starting mileage 968.5. Flight 17 at 344. your seatbelt or you want me to get it? Okay, I'm going to reach across you. There you go. Go ahead and step out for me. I'm going to keep my North hand on your arm because you've got handcuffs on your, uh, your, your hands are handcuffed behind your back. Hold on just a second. So if you trip or something like that, I can catch us because you can't catch yourself right now. We're going to walk right up to this door with the lights on it. Here for just a second, I'm gonna walk my car. off you and have you sit right on the seat right there. And get the handcuffs off you. Veronica. Yes, Go ahead and stand up and we'll get the handcuffs off you. Have a seat right there. You know, I just want to ask you an honest question. Should I be texting my employer that I can't work tomorrow because I am scheduled to work and I don't want to lose my job? Um, just because I feel like you have a better idea than I do. If if you're know. if you're worried about it, I would text them. Let them know you can't make it in tomorrow. Well, I just feel like there might be a specific. So. I don't know if there's like, oh, it has to be this amount of time that I'm somewhere or this amount of time that I'm so old or something. Right. So what will happen is is we'll go through the process here and we'll go down to Port Orchard. You'll be booked into the Port Orchard Jail. Now, you said. Appreciate your honesty. You said you've, you've been arrested before. Yes, um, by Washington State law, if you've been arrested for DUI within the past 10 years, there's no bail set. So there's a good chance that you're going to be staying uh, in the in the jail for a little while. Okay. You say a little while. That means Monday at the latest. Okay. right now can you, can you lift your tongue up okay that's good thanks if you if you throw up or or burp anything up will you let me know 
yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't think that will happen. Now, <laughs> All right. All right, so first thing I want to remind you, this thing's recording audio and video, and it'll stay on the entire time, okay? This is your constitutional rights. I need you to listen carefully. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Okay. Contact an attorney? Do you want me to put you on the phone with an attorney that will answer his phone at this time? If you if you want if you want me to, I'll call him. His name's Tom Alpaw. He's a public defender for Bainbridge Island, but he's got a private practice right over here as well. I mean, what's the point of contacting them? I can't give you legal advice. I can just tell you that I can put you on the phone with an attorney if you'd like one. Okay. No, I understand that, but I mean, like, just because I am kind of curious. It's four in the morning, so obviously you legally have to ask me that, but, like, no one's obviously going to pick up, so, I mean... He usually does. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm okay. Okay. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I know that I was difficult out there, and I usually apologize. I didn't mean to be by any means. I just, so I like... I wasn't trying to be difficult, and I truly apologize. I wasn't trying to inconvenience your night or make you don't, difficult. You don't, you don't have to apologize. So, again, everything here is like a set process for me, right? You know, I, I, I see you swerving and go over the lines. I pull you over on suspicion of DUI. We take the test. You show indicators of, of alcohol uh, and being over the limit, then I, I have to place you under arrest. Once I place you under arrest, I bring you back here, and then I go through this. So it's all... It's all a step-by-step -step process for me, okay? So this this is the Washington State DUI report, 
which you'll get copies of, okay? Um, the first thing I did was read you your constitutional rights. Next thing I'm going to do, uh, I, I checked your mouth. We're going to wait, uh, wait for 15 minutes. During that time, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. You don't have to answer any of those questions if you don't want to, okay? Any of the questions that you're not comfortable with, if you say, I don't want to answer that, it, it's no skin off my back, okay? Once, once we're done with those questions, I'm going to read you what's called implied consent warning for breath, okay? And that's uh, that'll explain your options for, for taking the, the BAC test, because this, this can be used in court, okay? What do you mean this? This is the, this oh, is the this breath is, test. Oh, this is an actual like, breathalyzer. Sorry, yep. I just thought it was like, yep, no worries. okay, when you... So, yeah, this, is, this is the actual sorry. breath test, this machine right here. Okay. Um, and, and I'm going to read you implied consent warning for breath um, and then and give you the opportunity to provide breath samples. Okay. Can I ask you something? Yes. We're going to Port Orchard, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what happens. Yep. Um, I can only say that because like, I'm cold and I'm like, it's not going to be better there. And I know it's not, but this is obviously not. We're gonna we're gonna knock this out real quick, okay? It won't take long, uh, and then we'll get there. Um, I'm not sure that that we would be sitting in jail longer, probably going going there to do this process, okay? Are they gonna be like horrible there? So, uh, like, I'm, who is there? Like, what kind of people do you put there? So we put all kinds of people there, right? And usually but the, the women that are there, like. When I got arrested for domestic violence, like, and when I went there, like, the girls that were there were horrible, and it was even worse than what he does, so, like, I don't want to be victimized anymore, and they know that I'm not like them, so they're meaner. So, sometimes you don't even, are not even in a cell with, with other women. I, it just depends on how long you're going to be there, and, and how many folks they have there. So, the God's honest truth with with the jail is that uh, is that the last time I told uh, a young lady that it's not that bad in the jail, uh, not as bad as in the movies. There was a there was a guy there who was going ballistic, and so I don't tell people that it's going to be a cakewalk or it's or it's not like you see in in TV anymore because uh, then it turns around and bites me because then it then it is just bad. So it it's it's jail. It's not fun. Uh, but I don't think it's anything like the Seattle jail. I don't know exactly which jail you went into in Seattle, but Port Orchard is, it's Kitsap County, so it's much smaller. Because that I went to jail because I was protecting myself. Okay. So Kitsap County jail is a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller. There's, there's going to be female corrections deputies that you're dealing with there right from the start as soon as we walk in there. Okay. And they, they treat you fairly. Uh, Are just, you bad people like in no, I I can I can tell you that uh, that most of the people that we arrest for DUI are not bad people. They they make them feel that way. I know, and it it's mean so Veronica. It's not the end of the world. I it know, might but feel you know, like, like it. Like it does though, because like my family is gonna be, you know, like it's nobody. Like I'm the only one that ever makes mistakes. I know it feels like that right now. It is like that. And you can say that it feels like that or it doesn't feel like that. And your life might be different than my life. And we might articulate situations differently. But, like, I know that what I'm saying to you right now, even though you don't know me and you don't know my life and you don't know anything it's true. Like, this is literally just another thing to make me be a total piece of shit, even though, like, all I try to do is like, be a good person. And I don't even drink. And I had wine because my job requires me to sell it. So I did because I was trying to understand what the fuck they were talking about. And I don't know wine because I don't drink because I don't care because nobody... Wine is bad for you. Alcohol is bad for you. It's toxic. And I have health problems. So I don't do these things because, like, I don't want more health problems. And now I'm in a situation where I'm going to be around people. Like, I don't know. Like, you're a dude, so no one's going to really mess with you because you're a big dude. And, like, why would someone want to mess with you, right? But people want to do that to me, and I don't want to go into a situation where, like, it's just free range. So, when we get to the jail... Can you be there? Like, can someone... So, I, when we get to the jail, I will... But you're going to leave, and then I'll be... Like, let me finish, okay? 
when we get to the jail, I will tell them that you've had some bad experiences and before, and if there's any possibility that they can separate you from uh, the normal folks who come in there, that that would be very helpful. And they are interested in, in making things I didn't mean to do that. very smooth at the jail and, and, and are not looking for a bunch of issues, so I won't let them know. I'm not trying to make issues. Nope. I'm not saying you are. I know, but they're, they, I'm they're, they're, in, they're in the business of, of going through the processes that they need to go through to, to get things done and, and avoiding issues with people. So, uh, yeah. like I said, I'll, I'll let them know that you've had some, some bad experiences previously in, in the jail. Sorry, and I'm being so you're not being annoying. And I'll, I'll ask them if there's any way they can to, to separate you from general population. All right? All right. Let's get this knocked out so we can get yeah. get moving. Do I need to sign anything? Nope. Is that okay that I throw this away in the garbage can? Yes, there used to be a garbage can right here. Yeah, you can you can throw it away. Come on. So again, if you don't want to answer any of these, you don't you don't have to, okay? Do you have any physical impairments? Um, what does that mean? I can't I can't get I can't explain it. Anything uh if that's what you think it means, then then that's what it means. So all I do yeah, is I read this and you that say blank because I don't know okay. what that means. No problem. I, if like I have felt health problems, like, you know, but I don't know if that's considered an impairment, so I Okay, I okay. apologize. I don't no understand worries. that question. Do you want me to put do not understand or you do want to put refuse? Is okay. that okay? Because yep. I don't understand. If, if I understood what impairment, like, can I Google it really quickly to just know? No, that's okay. Okay. Because <laughs> like, I have health problems, but I don't know if you qualified that as an impairment. So however you, however you interpret this question, <laughs> okay, okay, answer, okay. okay? I'm sorry. Do you limp? Uh, do I limp? Um, I have, uh, because of my... I do have uh, an issue with walking, so I'm not sure that that would be considered a limp. But like, I have stability issues essentially. I'll put down. I'll put down stability, stability issues. issues. Yeah, because from the when I landed on the concrete. It, yeah. Are you sick or injured? Um, I am technically sick. Yeah. Under the care of a doctor or dentist? I'm under the care of a doctor. Yes. Yeah, I almost died earlier this year. Are you diabetic or epileptic? Uh, no, sir. Do you take insulin? Yeah, no, sir. Have you taken any medicine or drugs in the past 24 hours? Uh, no, sir. Do you have impaired vision? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Where do you work? Uh, Seattle and Westlake. Right across from Whole Foods. Right across from what? Uh, Whole Foods. Okay. Did you work today? Yes, sir. I was off at 11. That's the next question. Is time you got off work? Is it 11? 11 p.m., sir. Hours of sleep last night? Um, I would say at least 7, okay. maybe 8. I'll put 7 or 8. Yeah. Were you driving the vehicle? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> if you have tough one to lie about. <laughs> All I do is all I do is read them. Do people actually say no? Um, I mean, can you even legally say that? That's a story for another time. <laughs> so, so anything mechanically wrong with the vehicle? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, you get the brakes checked, but I don't think that's a. Yeah. Have you been injured or involved in any collisions in the past twenty-four hours? I uh, know, sir. Have you had any alcohol to drink since being stopped? Since I pulled you over. Oh, no, definitely okay. not. <laughs> I don't know how I would have done that. <laughs> Where were you going before being stopped? Home. Yeah, from the ferry. Without looking, what time do you think it is? Um, probably 4 o'clock. A.M. Okay. Not P.M. Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. What street or highway were you on? A day road. 
direction of travel. Ooh, uh, would that be technically south? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. North? I think it's technically north because I'm going to Kingston. Okay. Where'd you start from? I'm really bad at that. The Seattle Ferry Terminal. <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty good handwriting. <laughs> what time did you start? Um, I was off of a 135 boat. I think it left about five minutes late. It's a 35 minute crossing. So I'd say about mm, 220, 230. Since like when I met you. Okay. I'd say about 220, 230. Yes, okay. for sure. Give me just a second here. You're popular. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye. So I've got, uh, he was just letting me know that your copy of the impound sheet and instructions on how to get your car is printed up, and I'll get it for you here in just a second. What day of the week is it? Uh, today's a Friday. Well, I mean, technically now it's Saturday, though. So should I be answering that it's Saturday because it's 4 a.m.? I'll put down whatever you want me to put down. Oh, this sounds stressful. I mean, technically it's Saturday now. Okay. Okay. Let's put down Saturday. Okay. What city are you in now? I'm in Bainbridge. I was in Seattle. I was going to Kingston. What's the date? Uh, I want to say today's the 8th. Well, but see, that's the thing now. It's the 9th. <laughs> so, it was the 8th. What month? Of December 2017. Okay. This is like trick questions. <laughs> they're not. They're not supposed to be. Have you been drinking alcoholic beverages? I had wine, sir. Yes. What have you been drinking? Wine. Oh, wine, sir. I don't know the type exactly. I'm okay. Learning. How much? <laughs> um, is that supposed to be in ounces or? Whatever you want to say. Most people say glasses. I didn't even have glasses because okay. I was tasting. Okay. So like. Should I just put tasting? Tasting wine okay. for work. When did you start? I'm um, at the end of my shift, so 11. Okay. PM? Yes, sir. Who have you been drinking with? Um, my coworker. Okay. Where were you drinking? At our sister restaurant. Been to that. Time of last drink? I would want to say midnight. Okay. Do you believe your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol and or drug usage? I mean... Can I leave that one blank? Sure. Because I yep. want to say no, but I feel like, because technically, like, okay, this is what I'm going to ask you. If I'm being honest with myself, I've managed people and I've been in a situation where it doesn't matter who you were, you could be the CEO of the company, if the policy is that you don't do this, then you don't do it right. So the hard part for me about that question is that if I were to think of my sister being on the road with my six-year-old niece and my four-year-old nephew, I would always say that no matter what you've consumed, you shouldn't be on the road, right? So, you know, I, like, that's a hard question. Because it's like, I don't, I would never drive if I believe I, I was putting people at risk. Okay. Like, I can guarantee you that if I thought that I could actually hurt your child, your wife, your, your mother, I would never have done that. Okay, so so that's what it's, you, I can put. I can put uh, refused, or I can put yes or no, or I can I can leave it blank. Whatever you want me to do. Leave it blank, yep, and then sure. maybe I can like talk about yep. that. With some guys, so I, last question: Have you ever been arrested for DUI before? Uh, yes, sir. And then, if yes, how many times? Uh, just the one time. Okay. Okay. Like I don't want to lie. I mean, why would people lie to you? You have all the papers that are in front, I mean, we're the, in front we're of the, you. We're like, the police. People lie to us all the time. But it's like, but how? Know. 
Because you literally have everything. Like, you, because I mean, you got a computer. Yeah. We have technology. Yep. You literally, like, I'm sure it's just a name or a number that I have. And then it, like, tells you literally everything that's ever happened. So it just kind of mind, like, mind, like, mind blowing that some of these questions are even here. Like, was I driving my own car? It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, do people, like, legitimately try to lie to you when you pulled them over and you are the person that literally greeted them at their driver door? And then they're sitting here where I am right now, and they're saying, like, no, I wasn't driving that car. Yes. Have people actually done that? Mm -hmm. But... It's a, it's a story for another time, but it's an interesting how? story. But how? But how? Again, it's for another, Dude, it's for another time. <laughs> I All don't right. know if I'll get to see you another time, Coon, so it's like, you need to tell me right now. So, so yes, I need you to listen very carefully okay. to this part, okay? okay. Yes. Implied consent warning for breath. Yes, sir. Warning, you are under arrest for RCW 4661502 or RCW 4661504, driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Further, you are now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. You are now advised that you have the right to refuse this breath test and that if you refuse, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year and your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. You are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are age 21 or over and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0.08 or more, or you are in violation of RCW 4661502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. If your driver's license, permit, or privilege to drive is suspended, revoked, or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply for an ignition interlock driver's license. You have the right to additional test administered by any qualified person of your own choosing. Do you understand all that? I think so. Can I just can I look at this? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sorry, yep. because it's just it's a lie. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm good at visual. Questions on that? Okay. Will you submit to a breath test? Yes, sir. I have a girl question. Like, I am starting my period. Is there a way to like do anything about that before I go, or um, can I like go to the bathroom really quick? Once, and just see how once bad we, it is? once we, <laughs> once we finish this, you're welcome to use okay. bathroom right there.
Rebecca, did you take this test the last time you got arrested for DUI? I think so. so okay. Yes. Okay. So. So the way this works is this thing's going to make a bunch of noise just like it's doing right now. It's going to, it's basically self-testing itself to make sure it's working correctly. Uh, if everything comes out good that it's, that it's working correctly, it'll ask if you refuse. I hit no, and then I hold on to the tube right here, okay? So I'll hold on to it. You make a good seal just around the end, okay? Take a deep breath, blow into this thing hard, okay? And make a sound, it'll, it'll make a tone. You hear the beeping? It'll be a continuous beep, okay? And that show, that's an indicator that you're putting enough air through the tube in order for it to... to it's like a loud noise, kind of. Yep, it's going to be a loud beeping. And just. I'll know that it, it yep. might go okay. But here's the deal with this is, is uh, we have you take a deep breath and we have you sit down because you're, you're going to feel like you're going to pass out because you're going to blow oh, all really? the... Yeah, oh. you're going to blow all the... <laughs> You're gonna blow all the air out of your lungs, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna try. And and I'm gonna coach you through. I don't have a lot of breath. But. That's okay. It, it it's this machine's been around for for 30 plus years, um, and it, and it it can basically it knows when people are trying to fool it or anything. So as long as you keep a yep deep breath and then blow hard into that tube, yep, hard enough to keep that tone going. If if that tone stops you have to take a deep breath and start all over again. If you do that enough times, okay. listen though, if you do that enough times, it'll give you a refusal, okay? Oh no. So, so, so take a deep breath okay. and blow continuous steady tone. Uh, nope, it's, it's, it's ready to go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Deep breath, blow in the machine. There you go, keep that tone going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing good, you gotta keep it going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. Oh, okay, I was like, See, that was it. it, that was it. That was my moment, man, holy <laughs> shit. I was like, I can't anymore, I can't do it. You're good. Can I know what it is? Or yep, will it tell me? so it's gonna, what's gonna happen here in a, just a second is as soon as we do it the second time, yeah, it's going to go through its whole testing again, make sure it's working correctly, and then it's going to print it out right on this little ticket here. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to set it right in front of you. I'm going to sign it, and then I'm going to give you one copy, and I keep a copy, and I'll explain exactly what's Did on it. Did you guys do that last time? I have no idea. It was I like wasn't. 21, and I'm 27 right now. I, I, I don't think I was here when... Hmm. Yeah. Did you come here to this station? No. Okay. So it no, might have been... Works for it, no. That's the the test. That's a that's a uh, it tests that solution right there. Here. What is the solution? It's a solution that it tests to make sure that it's calibrated within within the. Is spec. there alcohol in that? Uh, it's it's a type of alcohol, I believe. Weird. Does it tell you what I tested? Not yet. Once you do the second one, then it'll print it up, and we'll both be able to see. We'll go over it, and I'll show you how to read it. You must have a fun job. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. All right, you ready? Deep breath. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Doing good. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing good. Keep going. There you go. All right.
So do you sell wine or do you work at a restaurant? Yeah, I work at a restaurant. And to be honest, I got a new job and it's like, you kind of have to like make quotas essentially. And I don't actually drink regularly at all. So I don't like, I don't even know what the base alcohol is in like a Negroni. I just learned that today. But because a lot of the things are expensive. Most of the people, I'm in an Amazon building. Oh, are you? So, okay. yeah. So, like, most of these people are transplants from other cities, and they're loaded, and they're smart, and they, they you know, know their wine. spending a couple hundred bucks on wine is nothing in a lot of our bottles, you know what I mean? So, it's like, but you also can't lie. Yeah. And especially, like, I don't really... Let me sign it real quick. Yes, please. Man, you have such good handwriting. What's up with that? That's arguable. Okay. Is it though? Yes. Because you're going to see mine and you're going to laugh at me. So you are the subject sample. Right I'm there. I'm a subject. And right there. I'm a subject. Okay. So your first one you blew 0 0.079, and your second one you blew 0 0.081. What's that? Are you able to do one more to average, or like, or you just nope? That's like, that's that's, that's it. it. So so so, I'm in so the so the first one the first one was just a little bit below, and then the second one was just a little bit above. Okay, um, I I can tell you that they take special interest in people who blow like a 0.15 and above. So, um, but let me give you your copy. So here's here's some things, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you this. Um, this is just me talking yeah. for a second, okay? Um, I don't think I believe you when you say that you that you didn't feel like you were impaired to drive, Veronica. I, I honestly believe that. I honestly believe you're a good person, and and I have there's no doubt in my mind, okay? Um, the scary part about alcohol is just when. Uh, you start to feel like you're doing okay is about the time that you shouldn't you shouldn't drive. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's the scary part. Is is alcohol makes you uh, once you get to that about that 0.08, point oh eight point point zero six point zero eight, you start to feel like you're you're feeling okay and you can drive, and that's where it gets really dangerous. Okay. So again, I, I appreciate your cooperation. I, I believe you. You know, I don't think you're a bad person. I think you, uh, I believe you when you say that you didn't think you were, uh, you were impaired to be driving. All right. So let's do this. Um, I've got a little bit of paperwork to, to fill out. Um, the bathroom is straight back here. What? Do you have your cigarettes on you? Okay. okay. You want to, you want to smoke right, right now? Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, I have to be out there with you, okay, but I'll wait. okay. All right. Can I use your restroom? Yep, it's straight. I was going to say it's straight back here, all the way back, and the lights are on the right hand side as soon as you go back in there.
Got it? Yeah. I unlocked one and the other one was locked. So I'm like, okay, I'm stuck in this out there forever. <laughs> this is uh, this is the impound form. This is your instructions for how to get it back, okay? And I think it was kids have toe is what they said. Is it okay that I just take a quick picture so that they can go grab it? Uh, sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Is two seven four seven. Last thing I gotta give you. This is a request for a DUI hearing. This is your notice, notice that the Department of Licensing intends to suspend, revoke, or deny your license, permit, or privilege to drive. You have the right to request a formal hearing to contest the suspension or revocation of your driving privilege. The hearing will be conducted according to Washington Administrative Code. This is the important part. Your request must be postmarked within 20 days of the date of arrest or within 20 days of the date the notice was given. Okay? So, 20 days of today? Yep. Okay. And can I ask you a question? Yep. Just because I. So, I might be losing my license. So, how that works. I was just going to say, I, I'm giving you this right. because I, I think the Department of Licensing is going to suspend your license. However, just like I read in your applied consent, uh, it said if it's below a 0.08. Well, one of them is below a 0.08, right? The other one is just above a 0.08. So I, I don't know if they both have to be above a 0.08 or just one has to be above a 0.08 for them to suspend your license. So I'm, I'm giving you this uh, just in case, all right? Um, you said you had an attorney and, and you prefer to go through him. Yeah, he, can, he, can, he can find out whether they're going to suspend your, your license or not for sure, okay? Any questions? Okay. Uh, let me give you this back. Smoke a cigarette before we head Just south. Can I have a yes. Okay. We'll go out. Uh, let me get all my stuff ready, and then we'll uh, yes. we'll head out there, and then you can smoke a cigarette, and then we'll get going to the jail.
All right. Get going. What's that? Yep. Yep. Put them in your pocket. Head out and smoke your cigarette, and then we'll head south. I'm going to start the car up just to get it warm. Is abolished. A dream of a thinner. How bad is Porto Jim? It's, uh, it's nothing like Score Jail or Seattle Jail. Are they a lot of drug addicts, though? Is that the kind of girls that are in there? They're like fucking psychos? I don't know. <laughs> Great. I haven't, I haven't spent yeah, yeah, yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I used to work at another jail, um, and a lot of the a lot of the women who were in that jail uh, had were there for drug issues. Yeah. And I went to King County after my. I actually tried to me, like, literally, I got beat up the first day I was there because those girls are fucking psychos. And they don't care what happens to you in there. We to go there. Okay, I'm ready. You have to go there, Yep. Let's, uh, let's get on the other side, though. I had to go side. Anything for me? No, it's All right. I did. And she's got it. I think we're all heading south here. Alrighty. No worries. Make sure that's not too tight. Okay, let me double lock those so they don't tighten up on you. All right. Yep. I'm so happy that little old man decided to go back to his bed. Yeah. All right. I'm back. All right. Again, camera's going to stay on. Front one will stay on too. Okay. Did she blow? Bainbridge Island with one female. Question. Yep. Is we're getting here at like six in the morning. Am I able to sleep tonight? Like, is that a thing that gets to happen, or do I not get to sleep? Um, I think it depends on how many folks they have there, but they might. If they don't have anybody in front of you, they'll just process you, and so it might be a little bit before you can sleep. But after that, I don't think they prevent you from sleeping. out there for just a second.
right here for the Just stand in the back left corner, look up at the camera, it's right up in the corner right there, and stand right there while we hit her. Thank you. 